This video is brought to you by Antium 365, where the world designs electronics, and Octopart, the fastest search engine for electronic parts. Get the free copy of Antium software using the link provided in this video description. Plus, when you sign up for an Artium Designer free trial, you will get Artium 365 and 25% off discount. Hi guys, so today I'm gonna show you on how to design the LED brightness controller with 555 timer using Altium Designer. So here's the output schematic. This will be the finished schematic. And these are the components that are needed to complete the schematic. First thing you need to do is to create a project file. In order to do that, just click on File, New, then Project. You can input here the project name, and this will be the location in where your ECP project file will be saved. So, let's put here LED brightness controller with 555 timer on the project name. And this will be the location in where the project will be saved. So just click create. Next, we're going to create a schematic doc. Just click on file, new, then schematic. So we can also edit the template. So let's put here 200 mm, then 150 mm on the height since we have a small circuit then after that we're going to use the library loader this is the Altium library loader we're going to put here the manufacturer part number and it will automatically insert here in the schematic so let's copy the manufacturer part number here from the bomb list Then click on search. So this is the result. And as you can see, it has a symbol and the 3D model. So just click add to design. So there you can see, there is an added schematic library in the library. So repeat the process in all components in the bomb list. And after you added the libraries from the library loader, next thing you need to do is to drag these three documents inside the project PCB file. In order to do that, just hold it and drag it inside the file. Next, we're going to add the libraries in the schematic document. So just click on components, then click, hold and drag it into the sheet. After you place the components in the schematic sheet, next thing we're gonna do is to add the connection. To add the connection, just click on place, then wire.
So we're done with the schematic. I also added a power port here. This one, the ground. And also the supply. So in order to add the power ground and the supply, just click on place and power port. So just press tab on your keyboard to access the properties. And here in style, you can change the style into bar, arrow, wave. For this case, we use the power ground and a bar. Now that we're done with the schematic, next step is to create a PC. Just click on File, New, then PCD. After you created the PCB document, just go back again to schematic document and click on Design, Update PCB document, then the engineering change order dialog box will appear. So these are the components that will add on the PC, as well as the nets, the component class, and the rooms. So just click on execute changes. So here you can see the added components. Now let's start placing it into the PCB. We can hide for the meantime the room by clicking on the view configuration and click this room. Now we need to create the board shape. In order to create the board shape, just place a line to create the shape you want. Just click on place, then line. Then you need to select the lines. After that, just click on Design, Board Shape, Define from Selected Object. So this is gonna be the final placement of the components. So after you finalize the component placement, now we can start with the layout. You can see a line here, this white line, these are called rat nets. So this will be the guide on where the pins are connected.
Now the remaining unrouted nets are ground and the supply. So we're going to pour this top layer by ground and the bottom layer by the 12 volts. So to create a polygon here at the top layer, just click the line, then click on tools, convert, create polygon from selected primitives. Now let's put here in the net ground. Now the remaining unrouted nets is 12 volts. So click on bottom layer to active this layer. Then we can just copy the created polygon. Then in order to paste it here on the bottom layer, just click on edit, paste special, then check this paste on current layer and keep net name. Then double click to access the properties, then we can change it to supply. Click on apply. Now to see the changes, let's report the polygon. We can see there's still unrouted nets. So that is because this pad is only connected on the top layer. So to have a connection at the bottom layer, we need to put a via in here. To place a via, just click on place via. Now let's check again. Let's report the polygon. As you can see, the via is now connected on the ground. So this pad is connected to supply. Now we're done in designing the LED brightness controller with 555 timer using actual designer.